The Punisher is an iconic and intimidating anti-hero in the Marvel Universe. If you know anything about him, you know you don't want to mess with him. Why? Because he's a badass. He's had the guts to take on everyone from Spider-Man to Wolverine and a few others you've heard of. But is the Punisher a badass in Marvel Snap? Not exactly. Here's what the card does today. Punisher as it stands now is a 3 energy, 3 power unit with the ongoing effect, plus 1 power for each enemy card here. And if we take a look here at the Marvel Snap Discord, here's their OTA update that notes from this update in December of 2023. And here they actually buff the card from 2 power to 3 power. And here's their rationale for doing so. Punisher has been unnecessarily weak for a while. However, as part of the new player experience, we need to be careful about how we adjust the card. For example, a 2-cost version would necessitate shifting some other piece of early game content to 3-cost. Even with that restriction, adding a single power is basically free, and should just make the card a more fun game piece. So it sounds like they're trying to make the card better. So let's see if that made the card a little more playable. Here we are at Snap.Fan's card statistics page. And this, I have it sorted here by the amount a card is seen. So the cards seen the most are at the top, and the cards seen the least are at the very bottom. And let's see how far do we have to scroll to find Punisher. Come on, buddy, you're somewhere around here. Where is he? Come on. Oh, oh, there he is. So Punisher, <laughs> he is one, two, three, four, five. There are, hold on, he is the, the fifth least played card in the whole game. Mission accomplished, guys. All right, so how did we get here? We can all agree that Punisher deserves better than such a low usage rate. Well, his presentation might play a bit of a role. This right here means that he's a Series 1 card. He is one of the very first cards in the first group of 30 cards that players get through their journey playing the game. Now, this might give new players the perception that he's not very good and that he's easily replaceable later on. That's true for probably the bulk of the Series 1 cards, but some of them are amazing and are still played at the end of the game. In discard decks, good luck finding one without Blade and Apocalypse. You get both of those by the end of Series 1. For destroy decks, pretty much all of them play Carnage, Deathlock, and Wolverine. Another card you get by the end of Series 1 is Devil Dino, a card that pretty much creates its own archetype. But probably the best example is Iron Man. He's one of the very few cards in the game that are awesome in the early game, and also awesome at the end game. So being an early game card might play a bit of a role, but it's by far not the only reason that nobody plays Punisher. Being a 3-drop with a decently high floor, you'd think Punisher would have a place in Silver Surfer decks, but this also isn't true. I'm not sure I've seen Punisher played once in a Silver Surfer deck. So which cards take his place in this archetype? First and foremost, you have Brood. Brood is played over Punisher because it creates three bodies on the board that can all be boosted by Surfer. When Surfer gets the buff off, Brood becomes a total of 12 points on the board. Brood is often played in combination with Storm, a card that locks down a location. Storm and Brood together in one location is no joke. If you get Surfer down at the end of the game, that's an extra 8 points you get in the flooded location. Good luck to the opponent if they want to beat that. Another card played instead of Punisher in these types of decks is Rogue. Her ability to steal an ongoing effect and let you benefit from that effect can often give the opponent fits. If you don't mind taking a risk, you can even play Gladiator instead of Punisher. More often, he'll result in more points, though Gladiator can backfire. Even though he's fallen out of favor in Surfer decks, this card has higher usage than Punisher, who has basically none. Ongoing decks are another archetype you could try Punisher in, but uh, these decks have kind of fallen out of favor. But here are some of the three drops that have taken Punisher's place in those decks. Mr. Fantastic is a prime example. He's a guaranteed six-point play across all three locations in most games. Another card is Captain America. He's a guaranteed six points if you can fill the location he's in. Mobius is another possible inclusion. He counters so many cards that give discounts in one way or another. These days, Mobius is really good into all the Mockingbird Thanos decks that are running rampant on the ladder. Now don't get me wrong, some of the cards that have taken the place of Punisher can whiff, and they don't necessarily win you the game automatically. Some games Rogue has nothing to steal, for example. It's just a 3-2 that didn't do anything that game. Sometimes the opponent has no way to make their deck cheaper at all, 
meaning Mobius is useless, he has nothing to prevent the discount effect from happening, and sometimes Gladiator can pull out a massive card from your opponent and actually be a detrimental play and cost you points. But when these three cards hit, they hit hard. Rogue can just win you a game by stealing the right effect on turn 6. Mobius just straight up kills some decks by himself just when you play him on the board. And Gladiator can destroy your opponent's win condition potentially. And even if not, he's often 8 points on turn 3. On the other hand, the Punisher needs a lot of things to go right to reach just 7 power. Alright, do you guys want to know the biggest reason why nobody plays Punisher in Marvel Snap today? You need look no further than one word. This word right here. This card relies entirely on what your opponent does. And no matter what, cards that rely more on what your opponent does than what you do are going to be less consistent. And the reason for that, you are in control of what you do. You are very rarely in control of what your opponent does in this game. So any card that relies on what the opponent does is going to be less consistent. And this is the case with Punisher and his biggest problem. Until he gets a buff or a total rework, the Punisher will remain one of the least played cards in Marvel Snap. And to all you Punisher fanboys out there, I'm sorry. I just broke your heart. Sorry, man. Before I cover my suggestions to make Punisher more playable, let's cover a reason he should be played more, his variants. His base art has inking by Wills Portacio and coloring by Ryan Kinnard. His bundle and event exclusive variants include the Christopher Stevens variant, the Peach Momoko variant, and the New York Slice variant by Ki Mong. His rare pool variants include the Pixel variant by G Angle, the Baby variant by Scotty Young, and the Unbelievable Noir variant with inking by Patrick Piazzaluna and coloring by Giada Marchisio. The only super rare pool variant that Punisher has is this one you've probably never seen before, with inking by Giovanni LaRusso and coloring by Ryan Kinnard. All right, before I get into my suggestions for how to fix Punisher, please consider liking and subscribing. I may just be some schmuck over here, but I am some schmuck trying to grow a YouTube channel full of passionate Marvel Snap players. I would love if you joined us. Anyway, now on to my suggestions. The first one being, we could just tweak some of these numbers around. One of the easiest methods would be to adjust this from plus one to plus two. Now for that, you might need to adjust this power here. That, whoa, 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 whoa! There we go, that might be a problem if we have plus two power. So this could be a 3-1 or a 3-2, but I think that would totally be fair. Hopefully you agree. All right, this might be controversial, but here's my pitch for a Punisher rework. I envision this guy being the Affliction slash Damage Dex version of Null, because he's the Punisher. Of course he enjoys seeing things being punished, so it makes a lot of sense for him to synergize with cards that punish or <laughs> damage other cards, you know? So I have him as a 5 energy 0 power card for now, and just like Null, he's got the combined power, but in this case, of all damage dealt this game. Now I have him at 5 energy, but please let me know what you think in the comments below. That might be a little crazy, maybe we'd need to put him up to 6, but I'm open to hearing some feedback. Either way folks, I think we can all agree that Punisher is way too iconic of a character for him to have a garbage ability, a garbage play rate that he has now. This card needs some love, and I hope Second Dinner eventually addresses it somehow, if it's not with this rework with some other method. And thank you so much for watching this far into the video. I appreciate you guys. If you want to check out another video, check out this one right here. Alright, take care. I'll see you in the next one.